Hey everyone! So I just wanted to let you guys know that I already applied my foundation and I filled in my eyebrows and I used a black mixed with a dark brown to fill them in so I have a really pronounced eyebrow and I also elongated them just a little bit to give me that more of that superhero um, you know, look. So that's all I did for that and um, the jewelry I am wearing, you, I'm probably going to get questions, is it is from Jewel Mint. They are these really cute like dangly earrings with a ball at the end um, and they're very lightweight and Jewel Mint has awesome jewelry pieces that you can also use for like Halloween because they're very vintage -y, and then some of them have owls on it and, and they're really really cute. So I decided to use my Jewel Mint jewelry so that's one set. And then the bracelet is a really nice cuff. I thought this was very superhero-esque, so um, I decided to pair it with that. And you can also pair, put this onto your upper arm because it does uh, open and close, like you can adjust it. Um, but since I'm wearing a leather jacket, I decided to just wear it on my wrist. And if you enter the product code VIDEO into Jewel Mint, you get 50% off your first jewelry order. Um, so that's exciting. And if you guys want to see this tutorial, stay tuned. Bye. So the first thing I've already done is applied my eye base with a flat concealer brush. And then I'm going to grab Crystal Avalanche, which is a shimmery white, and apply that to my lid and inner tear duct for a nice pop and widening effect. And then I'm grabbing Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and I'm going to use the color in Static and apply that right into my crease and also blend it above my crease and create a nice angular shape right in the outer corner to widen up my eyes a little bit to get that Supergirl effect. And then I'm gonna go back into Crystal Avalanche and I'm going to apply that right underneath my brow bone to highlight. And then I'm using deep blue green and I'm just going to take that and apply it right into my crease area and just drag it in all the way. And then I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines that I may have and go back into static and apply that right underneath my lash line. And then I'm going to take a Lancome lip jelly and, I'm, and a flat brush and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And that's a good base for the MAC glitter we're using. I'm using Translucent um, Reflex Teal. And I'm just going to press that on my lid. And then I'm going to go back into the deep blue green and apply that right into my crease for more depth. That way it'll make our glitter pop even more. And then I'm just going to line my upper lash line with a black felt tip liner and line the inner rims of my... Um, eyes as well with a black pencil. And then I'm going to be using the Ardell Wispies Lashes and just apply that. I have a tutorial on it so I'll put a link over here if you want to watch my eyelash tutorial. And I'm going to take Bad Gal Lash and apply several coats to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to use a bronzer to really contour my cheeks. This one's by Rimmel. And just contour your cheekbones a lot as well as your jawline and your temples for a very nice slender and contoured effect. And I'm going to take a peach blush by BH Cosmetics and I'm just going to apply that right to my cheeks. And just kind of blend it in. But you still want that pop of color. And then I'm going to take Cork by MAC which is a lip liner. And I'm just going to line my lips quickly and I'm using this cargo palette and I'm going into the gold shimmery color and just apply that with a lip brush onto your lips. So that is your finished eye look and stay tuned for the hair. It's right after this. Before you start, make sure you spray your hair with a heat protectant and I'm using my KQC curling iron. And I'm going to start by curling away from my face. All links will be down below as to where you can buy this flat iron. So I didn't section it up or anything. I'm just going to start by curling away from my face because you want that really messy bad girl effect. Like you just beat up someone and you're not afraid to do it again. Um, so yeah, just take random sections. And if you want a hair tutorial for longer hair, I'll also put a link right over here that you can click and check out that tutorial. So once you're done curling it, just kind of piece it up, messy it up a little bit. You want to look like you just beat someone up, like I said. And then I'm going to take a hairspray and set that off so it stays all night for Halloween. And that is your bad girl superhero look. So it's really fun and I hope you guys try it out. Bye everyone!